Ah, uh, here's some more fun with the free Ford 500. Free is as free does. Uh, this I did with my fingers. This uh, just appeared to be scaly until I started to try and chip away at it, and uh, then all of a sudden my finger went through right here, and then I pulled this whole thing down, and it's about as sturdy as a soda can. Um, interestingly, now, I mean, the car does have some rust and stuff, a little, maybe even a little more than I would expect a car from this area to have. Uh, however, the subframe itself seems to be pretty good. The reason this is ru rusted out is it's made out of a, a much thinner steel. I don't know if you can, if you can see up here where it's really not rusted. Yeah. See, it's actually, this is a really thin steel. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, 16th of an inch or something like that, or obviously probably a little thicker than that, but I have a light right here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. See, it's not rusted up there, really, and uh, it's really not a very thick piece of metal. And I'm wondering what the hell it does, because nothing's mounted above it. You know, this isn't, uh, isn't attached to it at all. I don't really know what it does. Now, I'm wondering, see, it's got these perforations here, you know, these little cuts. And it's got the same on the other side, and the bottom here had them too. And then it's got this big flat piece of metal on the front, which again is the same thin, you know, steel. I almost wonder if it's something to do with impact absorption, like for a crash, you know? I don't know, because I don't know what it does. And since this, I peeled this away, I was able to look up in there, and I can see that it's, uh, it's boxed. You know, it's, if you, can I do this? Okay. See, look, the subframe, this is actually, this piece is actually tack, tacked on <clears throat> to the subframe. So it's not actually a part of the subframe, it's just welded onto the outside of it. So I don't know, uh, my friend suggested maybe it's something to do with the manufacturing process of the subframe or something like that. You know, maybe this is just a piece that something held, but I think that it does maybe have something to do with the, uh, crash safety, you know, impact absorption in a crash, the way it's thin and the way it's shaped, and it's got this flat piece. I'll show you the other side, <coughs> which is not as bad. <coughs> <coughs> However, it is still damaged. See? Rotted out at those stupid holes. So I don't know what this thing is, but, you know, we don't have safety inspections here in New Jersey, so... It's not a problem right now, but my aunt lives in New York, and they do. So, if anyone knows what the heck those things are for, because, you know, <laughs> if, they, if they're not necessary, <clears throat> I'll just saw them off the frame. Because, uh, like I say, obviously, it's not a part of the subframe. It's just tacked onto it, and I don't know what it is. So, anyway, the, uh, the free Ford 500 continues.